Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the front of the screen, you see a diagram which is a control system. This control system has an input signal Rx and also has an output signal CS. The control system has three summing points, or we'll call it error detector, which are this, this, and this. It has six blocks, which are G1, G2, G3, G4, H1, and what? H2. It has two, it has one negative feedback and one positive feedback this here you see is what the positive feedback and this here you see is what is the word negative feedback it has a takeoff point here this is what we have at this point we call it takeoff point so the question is how can we reduce this block there are many ways you can go about this, but let's go through this particular way. Now we have to reduce this block in order to get a single single block. That will be our overall transfer function. Now, if you look at G1 and G2, they are both in series due to the fact that what the same signal is passing through both of them. They are on a straight line. The same signal is what? Passing through both of them. That is the same signal. So we say that G1 will multiply G2. And you'll be wondering why. And if you are doubting or you want to know the reason why G1 and G2 are multiplying each other, I proved how you can actually come to this term here. Just click on this link at the top right corner of the screen here. You will see where I show you how G1 and G2 are in series and why they are what multiplying each other. Now, when we go to the next one here, which is G3 and G4, they are both in parallel. So, what will you do when they are in parallel? You are going to add both of them together, saying, g3 plus g4 or you see g4 plus g3 i would together if you want to use your little knowledge you understand in terms of circuits this takeoff point a signal will come here and another signal will come here. so if you want to understand how i come about saying these two signal in this way are in parallel you can also click on this link at the top right corner of the screen here to show you how these two these two block here are in what in parallel. So if I add a third one here, saying G3, G4, and G5 here, I'm going to add the three of them because they'll be in what in parallel. So let's move forward. So if I reduce this diagram, this is what I will be having, as you can see on the screen. Now I have made my g1 and g2 in a single block by multiplying both of them due to the fact that they are both in series and also i have made the g3 and g4 adding each other in a single block due to the fact that what they are in parallel right so i redraw back the diagram everything remains the same but the g1 and g2 are together multiplying each other G3 and G4 are together, adding each other. Everything remains the same, but because I have converted my G3 and G4 in parallel, I've wrote them this way, I will not write the summing point associated to them. Right? So we move forward. Now, we are still left with a positive feedback here and also a negative feedback here. So what you are going to do is, this part you see here, 
right? It's a relation on its own. Now let me take you down the memory lane. Whenever you have something like this, right? Having a feedback mechanism like this, what you're going to do is, it will be, if this is G and this is H, so it will be G, that is the top, divided by 1 plus the top times the bottom. I'm taking my G to be the top. I'm taking my H to be the bottom. So if I want to write this, it will be what? Whatever is on the top divided by 1 plus whatever is in the top multiplied by whatever is in the bottom. And in this case, what's in the top is G divided by 1 plus what's in the top is G times what in the top what is in the bottom is what is H. So we're having 1 plus what? GH. And the reason why this is why you put um plus here is when here is a negative value. But if here is a positive value, this particular point will be what? Minus. And if you want to know how I come about this, you can also click on this link at the top right corner of the screen to take you when you have a unit feedback mechanism or um, a positive feedback. Now we move forward. So if I now want to rewrite this, now you can now tell me what I'll write here. It will be what? The top, which is G1, G2, divided by 1 minus, because you're having positive feedback, the top, G1, G2, multiplied by the bottom, H1. You can see that? So this is what I have. So I'm going to reduce this and write it this way. So this is what we have in here. Everything remains the same. I've only changed this, my feedback mechanism, into this. So it will go together with what the summing point. Is that taking? So this is what we're having here. Still have my Rx, the input signal with one summing point. We'll now have two, we now have three blocks remaining, and we have a negative feedback. Now, if you look closely, you discover that G1, G2 divided by 1 minus G1, G2, H1 is in series with G3 plus G4. Like I told you, the same signal is going into both of them. They are both in series. So when they're in series, you're going to multiply both of them, which I explained to you earlier. Now, if I should do that, I'll be having this. If I reduce it, this is what I'll be having. G1, G2 into bracket G3 plus G4, because they are together, applying your board mass all over 1 minus g1 g2 h1 right i still have my h2 still remaining there and my feed, negative feedback still remaining there so these two now have now become one now if i should expand this this way i'm going to be having g1 g2 times g3 will give you g1 g2 g3 Plus G1, G2 times G4 will give you G1, G2, G4. All over 1 minus G1, G2, H1. And this is what we have here. The same thing is still happening. Now the next thing is, what do you notice? The same thing I explained to you earlier that I did here. There is a negative feedback. You can remember the top divided by 1. The top divided by what? 1 minus 1 plus the top times the bottom. Why am I using plus here? Because I'm having a negative feedback. So let's see. The top here, what do we have in the top? We have G1, G2, G3 plus G1, G2, G4 all over 1 minus G1, G2, H1. That's the top. All divided by 1 plus the top which is G1, G2, G3, plus G1, G2, G4, all over 1 minus G1, G2, H1, multiplied by the bottom, which is H2. You get that? So this is what we're having here. So this is giving me my single block, right? Now we need to simplify this further. If you look at this value here, I will look for the um, 
I'll look for the LCM. And if I look for the LCM, first of all, let me include this H1 here. So I'll be having G1, G2, G3, H2 plus G1, G2, G4, H2. So we must find that all over 1 minus G1, G2, H1. So if I look for the LCM here, I'll be having 1 minus G1, G2, H1 here. Talking about the denominator here. So if I do that, right? 1 in 1 minus G1, G2, H1 will give you 1 minus G1, G2, H1. If I multiply it by the 1 up here, it's going to give me 1 minus G1, G2, H1. Is that the key? Now, plus 1 minus G1, G2, H1 in 1 minus G1, G2, H1 will give us 1. And 1 times everything here will give us everything here, which is what? G1, G2, G3, H2 plus G1, G2, G4, H2. Can you see that? Now, what do you notice? This one here. If I move the division sign, or if I have division this one here, we're going to equate this here, right? And we're going to be left with G1, G2, G3 plus G1, G2, G4 all over 1 plus G1, G2, G3, H2 plus G1, G2, G4, H2, right? This is what we are having here as our overall transfer function my overall transfer function here which is my cs over rx will now give me g1 g2 g3 h2 it will now give me g1 g2 g3 plus g1 g2 g4 all over 1 minus g1 g2 h1 right plus g1 g2 g3 h2 plus g1 g2 g4 h2 so that would be my answer is that okay so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching